Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Lewis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. And with me today is from the Pestania Studio, John McTavish. How you doing? Good, man. I feel like, you know, like 40% more jacked, you know, being right. with Pestania. Back. I just feel like I'm I'm just, I'm ready to roll. I feel like I want to pump some iron. You know, I don't know why that is. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Got that muscly bear behind you. I guess that helps bear. too. So. Oh, no. No. Yeah. All right, so today we are talking about the Esteban Carreras taken from the Devil's Hand bullet. Uh, it's kind of a petite Corona, four and three quarters by 46. Um, comes out of the Tobacco Era Carreras factory in Nicaragua. Uh, the wrapper is just listed as Corojo with the binder and filler from Nicaragua. Uh, price point is $7, and the cigar was released in September of 2022. Uh, so with all that out of the way, John, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? Well, the first third started out with sort of a creamy earth vegetal finish, a uh, little bit of wood nuttiness developing, um, some mild, I say generic spices. So like, you know, just like a medley of spices that I can't quite identify on the retrohale, uh, a little bit of earth. Um, none of it really came together in an interesting way. It was just, it was kind of like you, you sort of tasting individual flavors, but none of them really combined to engage me. So I was like, well, Okay. Uh, second, third, creamy earth, a uh, little bit of wood finishing the draw. And then as the second, third progressed, the wood kind of took on a little bit of that sharp character. And then by the halfway point, the wood really kind of defined the center of the profile. So not a lot of complexity there in the second, third. And then the last third, uh, really let off by creamy wood and then became earth forward. So uh, a little disappointing um, because, you know, it, it wasn't bad from a technical perspective, but it just... It was people like, what What was it? Well, I smoked a cigar. What was it? Well, I don't know. It was a bunch of flavors. None of them really engaged me. It wasn't particularly, you know, memorable for me. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I also had some burn issues. Um, you know, when you're smoking a cigar and you can kind of feel the draw stalling on you, it stalled kind of immediately in the first third. I'm like, uh, this is not a good, a good situation. Uh, I managed to keep it going, though, until the last third. It, it was kind of sort of threatening the stall throughout the entire burn and then eventually went out and I had to relight it. So, um, yeah, kind of a, kind of a drag there. And then the draw was a little on the resistance spectrum. So kind of overall, just a, just a really average experience. Um, not something I'd return to. What about you? Yeah. For me, the cigar show with a stale and slightly hollow mix of toasted wood and an earthy mushroom mustiness, I uh, got a light wood bitterness that joined in a bit later. And then the second, third saw some creaminess join in. And then the final third saw the earth go out uh, on its own while the mushroom mustness kind of mellowed. Um, similar experience to you, just kind of an average flavor profile uh, throughout. It seemed a bit stale and hollow through the first half of the cigar. Um, not sure if this is the intended flavor delivery. I mean, you know, kind of based on your uh, notes, it just, I don't know if the, the fullness of flavors were there or not, or if you felt they were a bit light. Uh, to lead off, but um, uh, the flavors weren't bad. It just was like, it just wasn't delivering them at a engaging, you know, type of style or with an, an engaging fullness of the flavors. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know that I would revisit this kind of based on your results either. It just seems like it was just not really, it, not, nothing exciting. It just is kind of like, it was kind of there, but, you could like miss it in the room if you, if you, you know, if you weren't, if it was right in front of you, it's just, you know. Yeah. The, I don't know. the way I would describe it is, is, is if you got a garage band and everyone's sort of good at their instruments, but like they're not playing music together. So you're like, okay, like you're just kind of making noise yeah. at this point. You're not really making music. And I think that's where the disconnect is, is like you have some interesting things, but they don't come together in a way that makes me want to buy this again. Yeah. And I had some, uh, construction issues as well um yeah. wavy burn went out once had to relight it uh, a little bit of a snug draw on it as well so just not, you know not the best no. overall experience i don't know if those issues you know maybe contribute to the you know the poor flavor delivery or what's going on with it but um yeah i, I don't know say. uh but with all that said i am the high scorer at 5.4 uh john gave it a 5.15 <laughs> um and my score matches up well i mean it was an average flavor match profile but um the, the construction kind of let it down a little bit um so uh, just yeah it's just not something that's really intriguing at all so uh how'd your 5.15 match up 
Yeah, I mean, flavor for flavor profile wise, I'd say it's a five five. Obviously, it's the construction that brings it kind of below that point. Um, I guess the only thing that's kind of going for it here is, you know, we've we've had these kind of discussions on nineteen dollar cigars. This is a seven dollar cigar, so I guess yeah. you know, I could say, uh, I, you know, maybe I would try another one if I was, you know, somebody said, well, that's not the experience I have. Maybe I'd try another one because seven dollars is not really that bad. And the weird thing is we were talking in the green room. Uh, I can't remember the other Esteban Carreras we smoked. But the cashmere. Cashmere, the cashmere was the one before this, yeah. I th- I thought that was really nice. So, you know, it doesn't, It I mean, one cigar doesn't really determine the, the sort of total portfolio of a company. And mm-hmm. so it's curious to me that this cigar I didn't like, the other one I did like. So who knows? Um, yeah. You know, maybe it's just the blend and maybe we'll have to see what the next release is. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see us, you know, the cigars released at this price point, um, you know, two kind yeah. of uh, years following each other, you know, lower price cigars. But um, yeah, the one last year definitely seemed to be a bit better than this one. That's a bit disappointing. Um, and the other interesting thing was that, you know, they came out with this or they announced this cigar and then like very shortly after Warped had announced the cigar almost with the identical name. So it was kind of yeah. a weird thing. Um, like, the, nobody I think seems Warped to understand how to use recently. Google. Like, yeah. Like, like, come on, guys. Like, either Google it or ask Coop. Coop is Coop is more than happy to tell you right. with his, his encyclopedic knowledge. Don't use this name. It, it's already used. It's yeah. So weird. yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. We'll see. Maybe they'll come out with something that kind of redeems themselves next year or that, you know, later this year. So, well, I mean, goes. you know, we can have a chat with them. I think they're at the, they're exhibiting at the PCA. Yeah. So um, we can have a conversation and say, you know, first of all, tell us about the cigar. And then second of all, tell us what you got in the hopper and maybe yeah. we'll get some test blends and maybe they'll be good. But maybe they won't. Yeah. Who knows? All right. Wherever you catch this video, be sure to like and subscribe, but check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Uh, follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thanks for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Take it from the devil's hand. <laughs>